first of all, we'd like to express our deepest uh, Eid greetings to you and your family, Sheikh. Jazakallah khair and may Allah Azza wa bless our time, families and wealth in this Eid and make it blessed all year round, inshallah. I mean, uh, Sheikh, we're talking about learning the lesson from the story of Ibrahim and Ishmael, alayhim as um, What can we gather from this story and how can we use it in, this, in these days of Eid to really change our lives? Well, the story is a great story that cannot be summarized in a lecture, uh, let alone 10 minutes. But uh, we will, inshallah, indicate what the time permits. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wassalam ala rasulullah wa sahbihi wa man ihtada bi hudah. If you're referring to the story of building the Kaaba, that's a story of its own. If you're referring to one of the rituals that Muslims celebrate every year, and that is the sacrifice, which was originated by a story that happened to the Messenger of Allah, Ibrahim, and to his son, the Messenger of Allah, mm. Ismail. Mm. This by itself is a story, peace be upon them all, mm. that knocks a person down when he looks at it mm. in, with the profound belief and submission to Allah Azza wa Jal. Mm. Shaykh, I'd like, I'd like to ask you, as alaykum wa rahmatullah, um, Abdullah, Abdullah. Abdullah with you. Um, welcome to the show. Brother. Um, what I'd like to ask you, could you draw for us uh, the major things that, w that we should take away with, with the story, um, with the idea of Hajj, um, obviously with Ibrahim alayhi salam Ismail, and, and finishing up with, with Arafah and Eid. Can you draw the major lessons from that for the well, viewers? Well, it, it, it's, it's not possible to draw something mm. except that it's full submission to the will of Allah. Mm. We learn mm. from Hajj the unity of Muslims. Mm. Now if you see and take a look at the restrictions of Ihram for example, mm -hmm. which is the state that a, a, a pilgrim gets into when he wants to perform Umrah or Hajj. Mm. One of the restricted things for him to do during Ihram is to kill game, mm. to hunt, or to even cut the trees of the Haram area. This is not even to scare the animals. It's forbidden for him to scare the animals, mm -hmm. let alone hunting them. You mean such as the, 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 the important and noble occasion of Hajj, uh, and such as what, the, the closeness we're trying to achieve to Allah, uh, that even uh, you know, the very small things are taken care of. Yeah, but this is not small, because this is an indication that mm -hmm. if it is not permissible for a pilgrim to hunt, to mm -hmm. eat, something that is lawful, but hunting in this state is forbidden, mm. then we should look at the bigger picture, which is, mm. it is more forbidden to terrorize people in the holy shrine, mm. to okay. uh, do uh, riots uh, or to do things that conflict with the spirit of mm. Hajj, as some people try to do. Hajj, as a whole, is a sign of unity. Mm. They all dress in the same dressing. They're all wearing white clothes, two uh, uh, pieces of clothes. They're all saying the same talbiyah, labbaik Allahumma labbaik, mm. in Arabic. <clears throat> They're all facing the same qibla. They are coming from different countries, different colors, different ethnicities. They all share the same religion. Mm. They worship the same Lord. They don't have any caste system mm. among them. They don't have any segregation between the nationalities or the colors or the origin of, of people, they're all slaves of Allah, servants mm. of Allah. Mm. Yes. When you look at them, you remember the Day of Judgment, mm. because this is how everybody's going to be on the Day of Judgment. Mm. SubhanAllah. SubhanAllah. That's a great lesson, Shaykh. Um, mm. Just before we, we, we wrap it up, Shaykh, um, uh, so you're saying that the, the biggest lesson that we should learn from this Hajj is the unity. Um, what is your Hajj message for, for, the, for the Muslims, uh, and your, sorry, your Eid message for the Muslims today? Well, the most essential thing I see today that Muslims need is knowledge of the Qur'an and of the mm. Sunnah. Mm. With the grace of Allah, with this rapid expansion of communication, with the internet, with the satellite channels like Huda, which is, alhamdulillah, propagating proper Islam to Muslims, Muslims nowadays are learning a lot. And they're discovering that lots of things that they used to think or take for granted are now innovations they're not in accordance to the Quran and Sunnah so they are progressing they're developing 
they are improving and purifying their forms of worship for the sake of Allah. Mm. So yeah, the yeah. only way for success and progress is through knowledge of the Quran and Sunnah. Sheikh Asim, thank you very much for being with us and we do hope and wish again, we'd like to wish you again a very, very uh, Eid Mubarak to you and your family. Sheikh yeah. Asim uh, just summarized all of it that we take from the story mm. is total submission and from Hajj we take the lesson of unity. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it really, really highlighted the, the importance of it and, and the lessons we can take away. Um, you know, Hajj is a, is a beautiful time and we should remember our humility and our submission. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's, uh, that's very important. Yeah, because if you really look at the Muslim Ummah today, I mean, it, we are we're so weak is because we are so in, uh, undivided. Mm. Uh, we're so we're so separated, and we we mm. put so many sects and so many names and so many we tri tribalize yeah, exactly. Islam if we want yes. to put it that way. And it really is it's really affecting the Muslims. And if we can if we can grasp this idea of mm. unity, if we look at uh, even the Eid prayer mm. around the world. If we look at the the the, the, the hujjaj, <laughs> the pilgrims making tawaf in that unified manner, mm. and if you really look at the prayers in the haram, it's it's exactly. I mean, the way they've designed it, of course, is exactly everyone is in their place. Mm. And if we can really implement what we have seen from this Eid and Hajj and, yeah, and the, the celebration, mm. if we can really take the lessons as as the Sheikh said, we can really, really, mm. along with knowledge, of course, as, as he topped it up. Um, we can really see success of this ummah. Mm. Yeah, I think I think he touched on on knowledge and uh, and you know I think from my personal opinion, I mean, knowledge is clearly one of the most important fundamentals. Um, but of course, you need that with iman, and you know that is something that Hajj also lifts in in the ummah and and the hujjaj is is the iman in the hearts of the muslimin, and, and if we can combine the two together. Uh, as as uh, we, we've had on the show, uh, some guests which have mentioned the same thing, that if we combine the, the the knowledge with the iman, then the Muslims are now equipped to go forward, and that's what we need to do. As you said, we need to turn the page. We need to take what we've learnt. We need to bring all the positive things in in our different cultures, and as long as they're confining to to, to the rules of Islam, then we must take the benefit from them. And in, and there's, there is nothing wrong with looking into the the, the, the the the, the non-believers or the non-Muslims, uh, and taking the good from them, providing it yeah. fits into our uh, our Sharia and our, uh, our limitations that Allah has placed on us. This was said, Brother Abdullah. Um, we will take a break here, inshallah But we have a very packed episode today. We'll be talking about uh, to our brother about the meaning of Eid, and we'll be talking to a person from Pakistan, a very special person, who will be giving us what's Eid like in Pakistan.